Hey guys, it's Kevin Kreider from Pursue, and in this video, I want to share with you why I am extending my 30 day vegan diet. Technically, my 30 days of being a vegan have been up, and I could, I remember saying in other video logs, I said, Ooh, I'm craving eggs, and the first thing I'm going to do when 30 days is up is have 10 eggs because I was craving eggs. And I'm, I'm not going to lie, I still am craving eggs a little bit. I am starting to like the way I look being vegan. I have been talking to vegan bodybuilders and groups and they're talking about how you need to take supplements like creatine to fill it out because because creatine comes from me and I stopped taking creatine supplements and I still looked the way I wanted to but now that I don't have the creatine from the meat it's actually showing a little bit more. I feel a little bit more flat and stringier and I know this is going to offend some vegans but I, I'm starting to look like a vegan which that's not the look that I really want to go for. The whole point of me being on the vegan diet was so I didn't have to take supplements because I got off the supplements and I felt great and I looked great. And I was hoping the vegan diet would not propel that and take it to a new level. I wouldn't take supplements. I'd be feeling better. I would be more grounded in touch with the food. And the byproduct is it's good for me and it's actually helping the environment out and saving animals. To be honest, like I really, I'm really not an animal activist. I'm really doing this for myself first and I wanted to look better actually and not go backwards but I found so many interesting challenges with this like trying to get enough protein and then not trying to get enough protein in through soy sources like tofu and so much and so much from nuts like this is peanuts right here I try not to get my protein sources through peanuts so much because peanuts just make me feel really weird and not great actually I've noticed every time I eat too many peanuts almonds I don't get that I've given it an honest 30 days and it's done well, but I'm gonna give it another 30 days because I wanna do it day by day now. Um, I know I just don't wanna do it another 30 days, but really it's day by day. Today I woke up and I wanted to do a vegan diet. Tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and deal with tomorrow. And I am committed to still doing a vegan diet for another 30 days, but I'm gonna do it day by day because right now at this point in my journey of being vegan, doing and putting my mind into the next 30 days is kind of like, ugh, I really don't want to do it. But if I look at today, I can manage today. And right now, today, I am going to do the vegan diet. So look at all of this as just for today. Do it for today. And I think it'll be a lot more manageable for you to deal with any type of weight loss diet or if you're starting to become vegan. I didn't want to take supplements, but I'm going to have to, I, I believe, just to see if, yeah, thank you quinoa salad thank you this this looks great appreciate it i'm growing to like vegan diet especially in asia it seems it feels a little bit cleaner for me um, my body just feels great but you know i will say this my energy is my mental energy is a little bit low and they say it's because you're just so used to eating processed meat all the time that to get withdrawn from that when you had your whole life of eating meat just takes a little bit longer than 30 days and that's why I'm giving it another chance. My strength has been just crazy good and being on a vegan diet is actually cheaper than being on a meat eating diet here in Asia. Those are some benefits that I've come across and my strength is still really good. I thought it went down but it's come right back up. My taste buds have been changing a little bit more. I've been looking forward to the vegan food. The real main third reason is that my sugar cravings are pretty much gone or not there or very negligible. Sometimes I'm like, oh, that looks good, but I can pass on it. So my sugar cravings and my sugar binges have just been negligent or very little. And this is the longest I've gone without binging on some type of sugar for a long time. I can't remember it. Those are the three main reasons why I'm going to stick with the vegan diet. Other benefits that are just small is that I am getting a little bit leaner from the winter fat. So I am losing body fat, being a vegan diet. Those are some extra benefits. And I get to eat more meals. I'm extending my intermittent fasting window to 10 hours. And I've been able to fit in three meals a day. And it feels actually good because they're still big meals. And I'm still in a caloric deficit. And I always think to myself, I'm like, oh my God, I think I just blew my calories this, this day. But when I track it, I'm actually just exactly where I want to be. 
So those are the reasons why I'm going to stick with the vegan diet right now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you know anybody starting a vegan journey or anybody who hates vegan diets and all that kind of stuff, share this anyway. They might learn something from it and I hope you got value from it. If you did, hopefully somebody else can get value because you shared it. And please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys soon.